Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making a very interesting dish called pliskavitsa. Pliskavitsa is a grilled dish consisting of a spiced meat patty mixture of pork, beef and lamb. It is one of the national dishes of Serbia and variation of it is very popular in all Balkan countries. Pliasak in Serbian means clap the hands is because the meat mixture is needed for a long time. It is usually served with the side potatoes and the pickled onions. Get ready because we're gonna make the pickled onions. For the pickling juice we're gonna need 100 milliliters of water. We're also gonna need half a tablespoon of kosher salt, one tablespoon of sugar, we're gonna need some pickling spice. I have a tablespoon of variety of things in here, some coriander seeds, bay leaf, and hot pepper. And we're gonna need two tablespoons of white vinegar. We're gonna make the pickling juice first because it needs some time to cool down. So in a small saucepan, add your water, add your sugar, and add your salt. Then we're gonna add all the pickling spices. We're gonna take it to the stove and bring it to the boil. We're gonna boil it for about one minute because when it cools down, it's gonna also absorb a little bit more of those spices in there. And then we just need to set it aside and we need to cool it completely before we pour it over the onions. Now let's talk about the onions. I'm gonna use two medium purple onions because I think they're just gonna look the prettiest it's when you place it on top of your hamburger or serve it as a side. And we're gonna need 18 ounce jar, which is half a liter. Uh, that should fit uh, those two medium onions in there and we're gonna have enough pickling juice to fill it up There's just one more ingredient we need to add to our pickling juice Which is vinegar because we couldn't add it while it was hot and then uh, this pickling juice is gonna pour it over the onions and we're gonna refrigerate them for 24 hours and next day you will have the most amazing pickled onions. For the meat patty I'm gonna use um, two pounds of lean beef. Usually the combination of three meats is used but I'm gonna use 200 grams of lamb fat. You can mix pork and beef but I find this combination is a little bit more tastier. We're also going to need two tablespoons of olive oil and it's mainly for preservation. And here's the secret ingredient. We're going to need 300 milliliters of sparkling water. I'm using San Pellegrino. We're also going to need some spices. And here's the list of the spices that uh, go, usually go in this hamburger, which is one and a half tablespoon of kosher salt, half a tablespoon of black pepper, half a tablespoon of paprika and half a teaspoon of chili pepper. I'm using Aleppo pepper. Although I had a ground beef, as you saw, I'm still gonna run it through the meat grinder. And the reason I'm doing that, I need to combine it with the lamb fat. Talking about the lamb fat, it's a little bit healthier than the pork fat, I think, and it gives you a little bit juicier burger. That's what I'm using it. So I'm just gonna combine those two meats and run my ground beef through the grinder for the second time. To that meat mixture, we're gonna add all the spices and use a pretty large mixing bowl because I will show you what's gonna happen next. So we're gonna add the spices and the last thing we're gonna add is a sparkling water. And the sparkling water is gonna give juiciness to our burger. And we can eat it today, we have to eat it tomorrow because it's gonna get marinated. And of course the meat is gonna get kneaded. Pliskavica often served in a very fancy restaurants, believe it or not, although it is a hamburger. And because of the time consuming process of making that mix mixture, uh, they usually order it from somewhere and then just grill the burgers. But 
it takes uh, maybe half an hour to knead that mixture and after that it also gonna get marinated for a day so in order for us to preserve this bright color of the meat we need to pour two tablespoons of olive oil on top of our meat mixture then we're gonna um, cover it with a plastic wrap and refrigerate it overnight and of course next day your uh, olive oil is gonna get all uh, set <laughs> so we need to remove most of it but look at the color of the meat and remember we added the spices to it so normally that would change the color of the meat to much darker but using this preservation method it stayed bright red and didn't change the color to dark and then we're gonna cover it again and we're gonna leave it on the countertop because we're gonna knead it again and in the meantime we're gonna dice two uh, medium onions i'm using the white wine onion now and um by saying minced we're really gonna mince it because the onions um that go into this dish uh, cut relatively fine in the country they usually use either two knives to chop the onions very fine but i'm gonna speed up that process using this tool which is called mezzaluna and i'm gonna chop my onions really fine and the reason they chop they're fine so they release their juices and all these juices are gonna go also into our meat and look how juicy these onions are and are chopped very fine i'm gonna add all these onions to our meat mixture in the restaurant they add the uh, chopped onions directly onto the patty and then mix it in and then, then grill the patty because when the onions are added to your mixture as you can see uh, is going to change the color to a little bit darker because the juices are going to react with the meat and of course if the meat stays with the onions for a long time it's not going to look very appetizing so that's why they usually mix it in individually but look how um, um, very pliable this meat mixture is and look at this you could form the huge patty and grill it and it will not fall apart and all we need to do now is just to form the patties and a grill it and um, we're gonna form the patties on some plastic wrap and I'll show you the trick how easy that would be to transfer this gigantic patty which is almost six inches in diameter onto your grilling pan so you're gonna get a generous amount of that meat mixture and you're gonna form the patty and make sure it's all even on all the sides and then we're gonna form another one and another one and because i have them on that uh, plastic wrap we're just gonna cut the plastic wrap in between those patties and then we can um, easily transfer them onto grilling pan i will show you how it's very very cool trick I'm going to preheat my grilling pan very well and then I'm going to add about a tablespoon of uh, cooking oil and I think I'm using the sunflower oil because it's a um, high smoking point oil and as you can see the grilling pan is pretty much sizzling then we're going to grab that huge patty by the plastic wrap and uh, drop it onto the grilling pan and here you are. Um, as big as they look right now you will see how much they will shrink and they kind of puff up a little bit and and that's where all the juice is gonna come from it's gonna come from the middle look at this it's a, now almost shrunk um, uh, in half and then you're gonna test it these patties are actually supposed to be well done so you're gonna finger test it if it doesn't bounce too much back then it's ready but when it bounces too much back then you need to cook it a little bit longer 
And although it is a hamburger, it is very rarely served on the piece of bread, so, but rather served solo with some side dishes. And look how juicy this hamburger is. The juices just oozes out of there. It's extremely delicious. So you can serve it with some hot sauce and also with some pickled onions and potatoes. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.